Can I come in? Sure. How are you doing? Good. Sorry to hear about your accident. Yeah. I uh, heard you like spiders, so I brought you these. How are you doing, Luke? Mac? Oh, Dad, look, it's a magnifying glass. And this cool bug. There's a little book that goes with it. It tells you what kind of bug it is and all about its origins. Thanks, Mac. Glad you like it. That well, was uh, nice of you, Mac. I'm sure he'll enjoy it. How are, uh, how are you and Laura holding up? I mean, it seems sometimes that uh, parents take it harder than the kid when something like this happens. We're holding up okay. It was a muggy, right? It was random violence getting worse and worse. Even to poor Charles. What a rotten welcome home for you and your family. Our welcome home was okay. Random violence, yeah, you're right. It's everywhere. Did you hear that they ID'd the uh, mugger as an international hitman? I wonder what a guy like that's doing in Port Charles. Mac, if you've got something that you'd like to say or ask me, I wish you'd just do it. I hate to play games. No games, Luke. Come on, no big message. Just listen, if you're ever in a bind, I want to lend a hand. For old crime's sake, you know, for Robert. Let's take this outside, shall we? See you, Lucky. See you. Be right back, cowboy. Stay out of my face. Hey, I just want you to know that you got some backup. I don't want or need it, Mac. If you think you're going to neutralize Frank Smith by yourself, you got a thicker head than my brother said you had. Your brother knew me, you don't. Robert knew that if I was going to neutralize anybody, it would be my own personal business, and I would handle it my own way. Come on, will you relax for a minute? Listen to me. No one is trying to tell you that you can't do things your own way. Sean and I just want to help. Why won't you let us help? Oh, Sean and you. Well, you see, I don't trust either one of you guys. What did my brother tell you about me? Nothing. Yeah, well, that figures. Look, for a long time, Robert believed that I had uh, run out on him in a very big way. Look, I was a kid. I was showboat at the controls of a small plane. Well, we crashed. And my mother and father both died. Robert thought that, uh, that I'd walked away from the wreck to save my own hide and to leave him to die. But what he didn't know is that for a long time, I'd come back with help. But I guess if he told you that story, I can understand why you uh, wouldn't want a guy like that with that type of profile to be by your side when the going gets rough. Did you and Robert ever get it straight between you? Yeah, when we came back to Port Charles. Eventually he believed me. And we became friends. I'd just like to be yours. That's fresh. The answer is still no. Well, that's a big mistake, Luke. Look, my guess is that you made some type of deal with Frank Smith, right? One which protects you and your family. Which is why you've been able to stay in Port Charles. How am I doing so far? It's your guess. Have it your way. What I don't understand is if you don't trust anyone, then you must be smart enough not to trust Mr. Smith. But apparently you did, and now your son is lying in a hospital bed with a bullet hole in I know what happened to my son and why it happened, and I am not about to discuss that with you. Just get out of it, Luke. You're only looking for more trouble. I don't want your help, Mac. What part of that don't you understand? Oh, you are the most stubborn, most paranoid, screwiest bloke I ever met. What's going on? Nothing. We're through. Is anyone in with Lucky? I'm just going back. Again, thank you so much, Mac, but no thank you. You know, your husband is not just stubborn. I'm beginning to think he's suicidal. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. You know, it's just that Luke is... We... 
are going through so much right now. I just wish I could make Luke understand, you know. I, I don't want to cause any trouble. I just want to help. And I appreciate that. But we don't need it. You're in a lot of danger, Laura. And you know it. I just, I want you to know that you don't have to face it alone. We're going to be fine. Really. Look, Luke is going to do his loner number. But if you need me, I'll be here for you, okay? I'll remember that. Thank you. I mean it, Laura. Just the woman I wanted to see. Oh. Uh, I think Lucky has cleared up considerably. How did you manage that? Well, I just gave him some information. You know, that's what most patients need to feel like they're in control. What did you tell him? Well, I explained exactly what's happening with his body and why it's going to take some time for him to recuperate. And he understood that? Oh, yeah. Every bit of it. You have one smart kid on your hands. And we have one terrific doctor. Oh, I don't know what we would have done without you. Hey, that's what families are for. ID, please. Luke Spencer to see Frank Smith. Seven. Luke Spencer to see Frankie. 